Hi guys, and welcome back to another Heroes and Gems patch content update. Today we're going to be looking at patch 1.12 and what it entails, what it doesn't, and uh, yeah, what can I say? <sighs> this patch, in all honesty, I think is going to be the nail in the coffin for heroes and generals not just for me but quite a lot for a lot of uh, content creators uh, like Adaway, myself, Waxy, um, Cow and let me explain now as some of you who are my longtime viewers know and some of you who are new to the channel new to the, to the Twitch channel stuff like that you you may not know is that I've actually had three accounts um, with Reto Moto, um, two of which were banned. Um, I will be honest and upfront right here, right now. The first one got banned because I loaned it to a friend who uh, stupidly used hacks. The second one got banned uh, simply because apparently I was using macros, which was horse shit. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, if I buy a gamer, a gaming mouse that has built in uh, the ability to to customize and build build in macros. Uh, why would I not use it? If Reto wants everyone to use Microsoft approved, you know, two button mice and, and, and clickety clackety freaking keyboards, then I'm sorry, but you need to stop making video games. Um, but my third account, which is ironically my very first alpha test account, which I never really did anything with, Sacred Angel. Um, I, I, I never really did anything with this account until after my other two accounts got banned and then I started streaming with it. Anyway, that aside... Let's get back to the patch. Uh, where do I begin? Um, monumentally, this is a royal fuck-up. Um, and that's putting it nicely. Um, you've incorporated this new field maintenance uh, load uh, onto the soldiers without a single thought about the player base, about anything else. Let me explain. I... I, I incorporating this field maintenance load has quite literally made the equipment points null and void period it's also made the the want to get veteran status null and void now let me explain if i equip my strongevir okay as is with just the scope it's telling me that is a 55 second spawn in penalty to my soldier if I die three times or more in a row. That hasn't taken into account the fact that there are veteran players who know where the infantry spawn in and just camp there with their Hellcats, with their M10s, with their Hetzers, their Stugs, their SU-76s, their SU-85s, and just spam HE into the infantry points because whoever designed the, the spawn in points was a fucking moron. And I'm saying that in a nice way. So, I will remove said scope. So this is a stock Virgin Sturmgewehr. Okay? My spawning point is still 40 seconds. So you're telling me, adding a scope, a requirement, a mod, a requirement, which, by the way, you keep advertising right here, sharpen your aim. Okay? So we're just doing what you want us to do. And you penalize us for doing that. Apart from that, I'm trying not to use a word that, that, that has a lot of connotations. I'm trying not to use the word retarded, but it, it literally is retarded. Apart from that, you've decided to pat us on the back by giving this 50% this experience bonus for the next battle. Now, I do know that stacks with veterancy. I also do know that stacks with war, war battles. This is why everyone is currently doing the war. Literally, everyone is doing the war, and America is winning. With Germany, with Germany always being last, because you've literally got Germany sandwiched in between two other factions. Okay? I get it. I do. I get it. But this game desperately needs a fourth faction to take the stress off of Germany because America has won this war a whopping 12 times in a row now 
Okay, uh, America has won this war a whopping 12 times in a row now. It is pointless trying to play as Germany or Russia. It has nothing to do with the player base. It has everything to do with map presence. Because all America does is quite literally bum rush Germany, who's too busy fighting both the Soviets and the Americans at the same time. So Germany quite literally gets zerg rushed by America and Soviets, and it always turns up that America happens to have better units, better commanders, and then Zerg rushes the Soviets and always wins. You desperately need to look at your RTS side of the of the game, period. You just do. Uh, don't even bother trying to follow the game creators on any of their social medias because their social media is deader than tank tops, deader than MC Hammer, and even deader than Vanilla Ice's rap career. There's nothing being posted on any of their social media other than the typical automatic post to their social media when they post something on another social media i.e twitter log in now and get 50 percent exp bonus blah 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 <clears throat> you try to ask their pr department that's robotron any kind of, uh, of question concerning uh, the game he just stonewalls you he just flat out stonewalls you he doesn't answer any of your questions so it's just pointless in trying to even talk to them or even visit them on any of their social media just don't don't bother now back to the reason why i'm saying that this new patch is stupid in a few minutes you're going to see some clips from me tanking in a panzer 3 j1 with side shots i will repeat this side shots onto a wolverine that was not known for its side armor it was only known for its frontal armor and even then it wasn't even more than an inch and a half thick. A 50 centimeter or the pack L50, the gun that actually comes with the Panzer III J1, could punch right through it. Especially with Panzer Granat ammo. And oh look, what do I have equipped? 50 millimeter Panzer Granat 40. So I'm sorry, but you can jog on with that crap. Okay? I would have punched a hole clean through the Wolverine. Especially its gun mantlet. Now you've also added this modular system in, and again, you're going to see it in the clip. I actually have to get out and repair my my turret ring. And yet, you're going to see that not only did I destroy the Wolverine's ammo, the, the, the Wolverine's ammo rack, but it did nothing to the tank. Its fire rate actually increased. I was told by a very by many reliable sources that if you damage a module of the vehicle it will greatly affect the impact of the vehicle's fighting performance this is total rubbish because not only did i hit it in the ammo rack once i hit it in the ammo rack about 12 times and the m10 wolverine still kept pumping shots out every half second so unless their gunner is an octopus with the arms bigger than freaking Hulk Hogan, there is absolutely no fucking way that that M10 Wolverine would have been combat effective or even viable. Reto, let me explain something to you. When a shell, okay, especially the Panzergranat 39 or 40, hits and shrapnels inside the tank, the crew die. Modules are destroyed, i.e. they stop working. They don't partially work, they just stop working. Same as when it says, you've destroyed their fuel tanks. That usually means they're on fire. Are they? No. When it says you've destroyed their engine, that usually means the vehicle's immobilized and cannot go nowhere. Yeah, I've seen, I've, I've literally seen Light tanks drive off with no penalty, none whatsoever. Transmission destroyed in an M3 Lee. That usually means it's going nowhere, yet it still seems to be creeping forward, firing both its guns. The Soviet medium tank there, um, not the T-28. The, yeah, the T-28. Literally, I, 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 I shot the machine gun posts knowing I knew full well that there was a person in there. 
it's like once they get inside the vehicles, machine gun ports, etc., etc., they are unkillable, which is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. In World War Two, most so, excuse me. In World War Two, most soldiers had more average life expectancy if they hid inside a fridge than they did most tanks. It is a common known fact. To any fucking person who's gone to a war museum, Boddington, anywhere, the Imperial War Museum in London, it doesn't matter where you've gone. There are war museums around the world. They will all tell you, the curator, the curators will all tell you, it was a race between armor and gun. The moment the Soviets invented sloped armor for the T-34, what did the Germans do? They upgunned their tanks hence the tiger hence the panther hence the the panzer IV, making said sloped armor obsolete i have quite literally witnessed witnessed m10 wolverines killing tigers because they just don't want to die. I've literally seen three tigers just for like five minutes straight. Bang, 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 bang. Open up on this one wolverine and it quite literally looked like it was an infant trying to, to play with a freaking basketball. It was rocking back and forth. This, that, you, this, that, this, that. Perfectly fine to the point where the tigers almost ran out of ammo because you've made vehicles damn near unkillable with your modular system i get it it's a great idea it really is but it's fundamentally flawed because your game engine is very limited flying don't do not even get me started with flying i am a veteran i am a veteran of this game and i'm not kidding player rank 12 i am a veteran here I'll even let you look at my uh, my stats if you can anymore. Here you go. I'm a veteran of the game. Absolute veteran. See? Veteran of the game. Look at that. On this account alone, I've got over 766 hours played on this account alone. On Steam, it's telling me I'm close to 5,000 hours on three separate accounts. Do, do you not see this? Do you, do you not see this? Look. Look at my accuracies with my rifles. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Veteran of the British Army. Tanks, ironically. So yeah, I know how tanks actually work. And this vehicle, the M10 Wolverine, is the most broken tank in the game. It also happens to be the most cheapest to spawn in. So, what do you think they're spawning in? Hmm? The most broken tank destroyer in the game. If I see tank destroyers on the map, I just don't even bother spawning in armor because I know I'm going to come across an unkillable M10 Wolverine. I just know it. This current update is a monumental joke. You've quite literally, in one update, destroyed half the foundations of your game. Which, by the way, what was the point of adding badges for your quote-unquote leadership if you don't use your leadership anymore quite literally you you if you don't use your leadership anymore what what is the point here let's go down to the most useless badges in the game now squad leader and squad member they don't do anything Okay, squad upgrade points, which means nothing because there's nothing to upgrade. 
you've quite literally in one update made two badges from a previous update obsolete. It's like you're purposely wanting to kill your game. If you wanted to kill your game, sell it to a company like Activision. Sell it to a company like Blizzard. Sell it to a company like freaking uh, uh, Nexon. Or another Korean-based game company who will kill it. Who will gut this game. Because right now, you're doing a bang-up job of it. You've literally made... Several badges completely obsolete. I do not see the point in buying veterancy anymore. Why? Because, oh, you get an extra slot. Doesn't matter anything because the equipment point is now obsolete because of your freaking field maintenance ability is obsolete. I just... If anyone at Reto sees this Seize this video. Please. Please, I'm begging you. I'm, I'm absolutely begging you. Please. Live up to your motto. Remember what your motto used to be? We put the players first always. That's a lie. We are one team and we share one vision. That's a lie. We are greater than the sum of our parts. That's a lie. We make work fun to make fun work. That's a lie. We control our own destiny. That is an absolute lie because you took 8 million euros from a private investor and this is the direction that you're taking the game. We do our best work. At, we do our best work, our hardest with passion. That is an absolute freaking joke. I'm sorry, Reto, but you've quite literally fundamentally killed your game. You really have. You've changed your logo. You've changed your, you've changed everything. You're literally clinging on to what's left. When was the last time you actually did a dev stream? A month ago and change. You've changed up all your your team members. Kraken only lasted a month, didn't she? She quit because she saw the direction that the game was going. Red Bjorna, I know that you're no longer in, in control. You've lost your way. This changelog is an absolute joke. And here you go, an update. You published an update with known bugs, with known issues that would impact the game. How are you putting the players first if you've purposely put out a bug knowing a patch, knowing it's going to adversely affect the game? You know that this update has damaged your F mod audio system. This is why people are getting killed by hand grenades that you can't hear or shots that you don't hear. Or bombs that you don't hear. If you're running any kind of aftermarket freaking audio sound system. Asus Tech Sonic Studio. Disable it or your game will crash. Nemix OSD. Disable it or your game will crash. Grab your gear and enter the combat. Why? To wait at a 30 second to a minute load time. Because you still have not fundamentally fixed the key issues that is the retarded spawn in positions i'm sorry if i'm going to attack another nation i am not going to spawn into france if i want to capture russia that makes no sense i'm going to spawn in as close as i can to that objective so I can take it not further away not out in the open with no cover just so that tankers can sit on a hill five miles away with their HE and go 
only for you to then penalize us with a timer for their infantry to then bum rush and capture all the objectives. And then before you know it, by the time I'm allowed to spawn back in at A1, it's damn near down to 90% of being capped out. And then before you know it, that line's dead and I have to start again. Oh, fuck. Yeah, he's right. Isn't that how everyone's losing their games right now? If you've lost a game like that, leave a comment in the in the comment description of the YouTube video. Please, please, please do, please. Please. This was posted November 14th. It's November 20th. That should tell you something. When you purposely release an update, when you release an update. And what bugs does it fix? Various timeout values adjusted to help players who had issues joining battles, i.e. matchmaker. In-game settings and language selection menu now shows the current language correctly. So a menu bug. So how does a menu bug and a matchmaker fix mean that your audio engine doesn't work. I am not a certified game developer. Okay, I'm not. I have designed a game. I'm in the process of designing a first-person shooter. The ironic thing is, in Unreal Engine, the Unreal Engine, I actually compiled and built my first-person shooter. I did it live on my Twitch stream. Viewers watched me add maps, add guns, add vehicles, show off the recoil mechanics, the, 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 the bullet penetrator, everything. And I did it all in two hours. You release a patch to fix the matchmaker and a menu bug and you fuck up your audio engine. They're two separate modules. I just, my brain hurts. My, my brain hurts. There's a reason why no one streams your game hardly anymore on Twitch. Why streamers like myself and Cotton and Waxy all quite literally left your game in droves. It's because we knew that you guys just didn't fucking care had nothing to do with the fact that the viewers weren't there. The viewers were there. Ask Cotton. You were there in some of his streams. You were there in some of my streams. The viewership was there. You, Reto. You just didn't care. What happened to your content communi communi communications club thing where you, you invited... Twitch and YouTube content creators to your studios. What came of that? Nothing. In one ear and out the other and didn't even touch the sides. Like throwing a hot dog down a hallway. Because your egos got the better of you. I genuinely give this game less than a year. Six months. By 2019, this game will be dead. And you, Reto Moto, will be to blame. Thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.